This is one of those pieces best enjoyed when held in hand. But first of all, let me, my preferred point of display would be this particular angle. And you'll see there's crystallization jutting out there, maybe coated by micro androdite garnet crystals, a little bit of calcite on this side. Here you have a better idea of what's happening. So you have a very dark red androdite garnet formation. And perched on that, I think we're looking at the likes of Gaudafroyat here, rare mineral from the Kalahari manganese fields. Uh, often associated in these sections would be the likes of Hausmanite and uh, Hematite in some cases. I think in this case I only see Androdite Garnet. What comes to mind here is this one particular crystal sitting over there, which is very, very nicely crystallized termination intact on that one. And of course, when we look at uh, this would be my preferred point. So standing flat, we'd have this effect. So you actually have these so Gaudafroyat crystals coated with micro, micro androdite garnets jutting out from this matrix with this one in this section. You'd be more familiar with this kind of section. I'd use this as a matrix, but there you can see those Gaudafroyat crystals. Now essentially the difference between the manganone, uh, 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 vesuvianite and dive spore would be that the manganone, vesuvianite with strong lighting would be gem see-through red. Whereas the manganone of uh, the Gardafroyat would be more uh, silver metallic to black.